to Mount Baldy this morning. It's a long hike. Uh, it's made longer because the uh, Apache Indian Reservation wilderness areas are all closed. So, um, this is so funny. Yeah, horses. Because the grass is just better over here, buddy. Man, you got all that grass and you have to eat over the fence. <laughs> These guys are up early this morning. Hungry. CQ, CQ, this is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie, summit's on the air. <laughs> on the way to Mount Baldy, Whiskey 7 Alpha, Alpha Echo 004. Uh, it's going to be a long hike, made longer by uh, the fact that the Apache Indian Reservation wilderness areas are all closed. So, uh, yeah. So we're going to use the West Baldy Trail today. Um, I haven't done the East one either, but uh, maybe I'll do that in September. When I come back or something. Um, sun's just coming up. It's going to be a beautiful day. And uh, should be good. Alrighty, heading up to Mount Baldy, East Baldy Trail. Talked to some folks, they said it's been in use all weekend, no problemo. So the, the uh, Baldy Summit is closed because it is on the reservation, but that's not where we're going. So lucky for us. We are going to activate just off the reservation. So no, no permits required. Um, now the trail looks like it might touch the Apache reservation, but uh, according to these folks, you don't need a, a permit for this trail, so. Just to go on to the peak, you do. So, but we're not gonna go into that area. And man, this is, this is really, really pretty so far. All right, about quarter to seven. So, we left some people down at the parking lot. Hopefully we can get out in front, which I think we will. Looks like they've been getting a little bit of moisture up here. Things are green, greener and over on the border. over to the left running water it's gone to a more of a single track here as we start a little bit heavier climb start at 9300 feet or thereabouts so I think we climbed up to 11.4 so there you have it Just leaving this beautiful meadow. Just unbelievable. Really pretty up here. So thankful it didn't burn. This would, that would really, really suck. Um, 
this is a pretty well known and moderately trafficked trail. I can see why. Running water down there and the landscapes are pretty awesome. So if you do it, early morning is possible, it'll probably be good. You might catch some elk and deer up in these meadows with any luck. Real pretty in here and lush. Looks like when it rains you get a little bit of runoff through here, maybe. The trail doesn't look like it. But uh, nice little single track through the woods. Another nice thing about this trail is it's not all rocky. So you can take your eyes off the trail, not worrying about crashing out on double fist size rocks and stuff. So it makes it more enjoyable. You can look up and check stuff out. Look at the size of that dang rock. It's huge. That's a boulder pile. Alright. Ooh, nice slight breeze. Making it uber enjoyable. So check this out. Check out these towering rocks up here. That's really cool. Kind of line the trail over here. Really pretty. We're at uh, 10,100. Not quite halfway. Um, this looks like a perfect place to camp overnight. I don't know if that's allowed up here, but nice little flat area. Looks cozy among the trees. So. I guess another comment so far is yeah, we've climbed about 800 feet so far and it's been just a nice steady incline over you know a little over two and a half miles so very pleasant wow what a change in landscape here <laughs> guess this is volcanic but we'll just pick our way right through it here. There's a trail. Fairly clearly marked also. Another thing to note. Probably because it is so heavily trafficked. So, yeah. All right, just a little over the three mile mark. Um, we've climbed 1500 feet according to all trails. Now that number can be off a little bit, um, but uh, yeah. So that means we're at about, uh, I don't know, close to 15 or 10,005. Um, in theory, I think we only have another five to 800 feet to go of elevation gain over about three miles so and then once we get up there we'll skirt the uh, Apache um, reservation 
to get to the Soda Summit, uh, which they specifically put on the uh, U.S. off the reservation, basically, so that wouldn't be any issues. To <sighs> wow, look behind me, look how green and lush that is, it's so pretty. It's probably going to be windy at the top, but we'll deal with it when we get there. Like another lava flow here. Solid rock. And check out the view. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's Big Lake over there. Ah, never seen it from this side. Wow, this is really something up here. Great views. All right. Enough screwing around, let's get cracking. Really pretty in here. The sun filtering down through the trees. A lot of dead ones right in here, but uh, they're being replaced extremely fast with uh, a lot of new growth in here. So very nice to see, and they look very healthy. Except for this guy, he looks a little weird. Cause he's got rickets or something. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> we're 5.3 miles in. Uh, to my left is Mount Thomas. We're going to wrap around that. It's kind of an interesting little saddle here, though. Um, between these two, little little bump over there. And, uh, but, anyway. Kind of hang a left here and wrap around Mount Thomas. And then work on our Thomas Mountain. And, uh, yeah, another mile or, mile or so to go and yeah, we'll be Gucci. Amazing. Come around uh, Thomas Mountain here. And I think it's Bali up to our right here. Little uh, valley. A lot of dead stuff up in there. But uh, <laughs> this trail is awesome. Coming around this side. Not as green and lush. Uh, a little bit drier over here. Ah. <laughs> I love this little stand of trees. <laughs> They're just so cute. Ah. You gotta love it. Ah. This is just freaking awesome up here. What a great trail, too. I don't know why I didn't do this before. Man, sweet trail. So I just passed the uh, little turnoff to go to the, the Baldy Peak, which uh, is on the Apache Reservation, and it's closed. I don't have a permit to go on there, and they're not issuing them because um, COVID. What I'm going to do is uh, follow the West Baldy Trail, uh, about a half mile here, and then come up the uh, northwest side. Um, looks a little bit less steep. This side right here looks like it might have cliffs looking at the topo. So we'll go around and then go up. That'll keep us uh, within the uh, U.S. Forest Service property and uh, legal. Should be a nice view up there if we can see out through the trees, but... Uh, very nice up here. I'd love to do this little loop sometime, but my uh, if I did it, I'd have to hitchhike back to the car uh, or hike back, and that's that's yet another two miles. So it's two miles farther, and then you'd have to hitchhike or something the, uh, to get back up to the other trailhead. 
but uh, yeah, next time. So let's get cracking. This field of blue wildflowers. I've been here through this little path. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, we're at this cool little sign here. <laughs> we're east and west meet. This guy. Um, I want to do kind of some natural animal trails, but uh, this one will be a little bit easier. And uh, we'll stick to this since it's already here. Oh. So, activation zone is right up there in the Baldy Wilderness area of Apache Sikoris National Forest. Let's get cracking. It's July 8th or 7th. Still got snow up here. So, uh, Go ahead and step in it. Just to say, I had to get, had to go through snow to get up here. Oh yeah. There you go. Okay, 11,400. I believe this is our summit. Even though we saw the pin down below. Huh. At 3:60 time. Sorry about the wind. There's Big Lake down there. And, uh, beautiful. Okay, up on Mount Baldy, there's a uh, some kind of bird circling here in the uh, eddy currents. We're right on this cute little ridge. Here's the uh, operating position. Piled up some rocks because I left the chair back at the vehicle. Save a little weight. And uh, going up to the push-up pole there. So we're gonna get on the airways and get cracking here. Should be uh, killer. Probably fire up the HT as well. Activated. Gotta love it. Baldy Mountain. Yeah! This is awesome. Getting some great signals up here on 40 meters. Some of those guys really were 5'9". Uh, especially you, Dan. Hobber, thanks for uh, picking me up my first contact, dude. That's great to have you on this uh, activation, too. You throw out a CQ up there. Oh, yeah, this is just, uh, I got 13 contacts on 40 meter. <laughs> Freaking awesome, dude. Of course, I'm sitting up here at 11,400 feet, and uh, 
We could probably get VHF into California. This is really, really cool. Really great views from up here. Perfect weather, sun's beating down, but you know, we're at 11-4, so it's not too bad. And uh, it's a great little hike up here. Great trail going down on tying into the other one so we can get up here easily. Um, I, I bushwhacked just a little bit before I found this trail, so didn't even need to do that, I don't think. We'll find out on the way back. So let's throw another CQ out there and see if we get another bite. Alrighty. Um, that's a wrap. I'm on top of Mount Baldy and had an epic day. Beautiful, beautiful weather. Light breeze, um, 45 contacts. Um, I worked, let's see, 17 meter, 20 meter, 40 meter, and 60 meter, and 10 meter, um, or excuse me, 30, 30 meter uh, today. So contacts on everything. Got a few summit to summits, not too many, not a whole lot of guys out. Um, the bands were kind of quiet. I am uh, really happy I wasn't depending on sideband because um, I only got, I think, I one, maybe two contacts on sideband. Um, so that would have been a tough activation today on sideband. But uh, epic day on CW. Um, so, all right, time to head down and uh, keep from crashing. I don't want to crash out. And I think the path back is going to be, I won't have to do any bushwhacking. I think it takes me right down to the uh, the trail. I must have missed it. But uh, I didn't, I bushwhacked maybe 100 yards and then found this trail. So let's get cracking. Okay, I just want to make it clear to everybody. I had to go through the snow to get back. See? Ooh, it's mushy. There you go. Well, I gotta tell you, this was an epic hike. Um, still going on my way down, but uh, everything worked. Backpack, navigation, um, new boots. Um, my feet keep growing, so I had to get another half size bigger. And they are comfortable. I broke them in last few hikes. So 45 contacts, um, SATCOM was working. Uh, talk to uh, Charlie via the uh, VHF repeater. Just everything worked. So, really, really nice little hike and activation, and we're going to enjoy certainly the way back. After we get through this stuff, um, this certainly isn't as pleasant because you have to watch every step so you don't fall on your ass. But uh, yeah, really, really epic. Uh, the country worked, the trail worked. Um, just everything came together to really make this an epic activation. Back to work. Okay, somehow I missed this when I went up. But again, like I said, I only bushwhacked about 100 yards. That trail comes right out on here. You have trails, so you can do a loop, which is pretty cool up and over. But uh, not right now, we've already discussed that. Um, you can do a loop here too, uh, just if you don't go to the summit. Just up and around. It's eight miles back. Um, I talked to a guy that's done the West Baldy Trail and a couple of things. It's of course a little bit longer. And then you got to hike back to your car. There is a through trail, but he says it's kind of, uh, it's not maintained very well. So there's a lot of fallen logs and stuff across it. And uh, he said the, the walk back to the vehicles through that, that through hike is a wee bit boggy in areas. But, uh, so I do want to do the loop someday. Um, but I really like to prefer to just leave a car at the other end. So, which is pretty easy to do. I'm mean, only like two or three miles apart. But I will say this, I am looking forward to the hike down just cause it's so freaking nice. So a, bit, a little bit of maintenance on here. This hasn't been cut for too long. 
little bit of running water being squeezed out of the mountain. That would explain why it's so doggone green down here. Um, they must have had some kind of bark beetle infestation or something, but uh, hopefully the forest comes back in here. It should. Anyway, let's get back on the road here. This is probably this area here. It just seems to be the, the most downed logs and stuff. But, eh, nothing like compared to uh, Escadilla. Escadilla was pretty darn difficult with all the climbing over and under. Shooting B-roll means you hike a lot more. <laughs> but it's all for you, man. It's all for you guys out there. My huge load of fans. <laughs>